standing at the edge of a land barren and desolate. I thought there's nothing in this life, this mess, that's worth a second glance. I made it through, is that not enough? Through shame and death and broken trust, our hearts were bright but blinded by the constant threat of endless strife. And our fears were ample currency and gave reason to justify building a fortified city of what we thought we lacked inside. We built up houses of faint wholeness, temples within or coldness. We betrayed ourselves, each other, speaking lies of one another until our blames went up in flames and burn this city, burn this city, burn this city to the ground. Now as I looked out at the ash, blackened wreckage all around, a voice, the Holy One within, said, buy this plot of land, for behold, I will bring it health and healing and abundance of peace and truth. In that day you will be in me and I will be in you. I've read the right of redemption is the thing we all possess, but how can redemption come if we're not willing to invest? God says, if you return to me, then I will bring you back. We've got to move our feet for God to bring us back on track. But I see no future here. How could hope ever take root? Thoughts broken with chains and made us slaves to their pursuit. They had us pointing the finger and accusing one another. We turned love inside out, putting ourselves above each other. We inverted God's order, turning away from our center. How could we ever get back from this land abroad that we entered? But that voice within cried out again with the hunger set for me to hear it. Behold, I am the Lord, God of all flesh and spirit. Is there anything too hard for me? Now sign this deed and seal it. I've read the right of redemption is a thing we all possess, but how can redemption come? If we're not willing to invest, God says, if you return to me, then I will bring you back. We've got to move our feet for God to bring us back on track. You mean I must invest in this? My life as it now stands, you mean while I till the soil in captivity, you'll transform this barren land? We have to change our ways, transplant understanding in place of mistrust. That's what being saved means, is uprooting the hurtful behaviors within us. For while we till the ground in captivity, a work is being done. In our minds and hearts, the growth of fields and vineyards has begun. The ash of what has been before ionizes the barren soil, while the work we do in Babylon opens a way for hell's foil. I've read the right of redemption is the thing we all possess but how can redemption come if we're not willing to invest God says if you return to me then I will bring you back we've got to move our feet for God to bring us back on track We can't deny it or avoid it. Life's a furnace of affliction, but it works to refine us in kindness and to free us from addiction. Investing in our lives means divesting of iniquity. We have to turn from contempt for God to free us from obliquity. Every single one of us has a love and light inside, but it's got no way out when we block it with hatred and pride. The purchase price seems high, but really now what have we got to lose? We're slaves already to selfishness. It's high time that we choose to serve a loving God and humility and stop the uh, abuse. Only then does our captivity turn from slavery to opportunity, and the same life and land that we once deserted in disunity becomes a place where mutual love now flows out to the community. But there's no way of telling that this future is in store when you're standing at that edge with death behind and before. You've got to step into darkness with nothing more than a voice deep inside, the everlasting pulse of the power of choice. For behold, I will bring it health and healing, an abundance of peace and truth. In that day you will be in me and I will be in you. I've read the right of redemption is a thing we all possess, but how can redemption come? If we're not willing to invest, God says, if you return to me, then I will bring you back. We've got to move our feet for God to bring us back on track. I've read the right of redemption is a thing we all possess, but how can redemption come? If we're not willing to invest, God says, if you return to me, then I will bring you back. We've got to move our feet for God to bring us back on track.